Hey guys, this is Ricardo with Fast Tech Performance. Today we're going to show you how to install some springs on your fifth generation Camaro. On the front spring assembly, you're going to want to remove these two 24 millimeter bolts. This 10 millimeter bolt back here, and this 15 millimeter bolt just for the sway bar end link. This rubber grommet, you're just going to pull it out of the way. Once you get those out of the way, you got a 24 millimeter nut up top. Once you get that out, then the whole spring assembly will drop out of place. Now once you have the suspension torn down to this point right here, you're going to want to go up to this side and remove that plastic cap that's up top. Once you remove the plastic cap from up top, you can go ahead and access the 24 millimeter nut. Now, as you can see, the 24 millimeter bolt is right here. We're going to go get our socket on it and zip it off real quick. Now what you also want to do is go ahead and hang onto the strut just in case it falls. Once you have the nut out of the way, go ahead and remove this cap and put it out of the way as well. Then you'll be able to easily get the strut tower out. Alright guys, now once you're at this point, we're going to go ahead and get this 24 millimeter nut out from here. We're going to make sure it holds it, just to make sure it doesn't pop up out of your way. Once you have the nut and washer out of the way, go ahead and pull the mount off. Set it off to the side. Once you have the mount off, then you can get the spring out. Now putting everything back together is just kind of reverse order. I'm going to go ahead and make sure you line it up with the markings down here at the bottom. Once you do that, Push down on it a little bit, and you'll be able to see the stud. Then grab your washer and nut, and slide it back over. Now for most vehicle applications, we do recommend that you use a spring compressor. But the Camaro springs aren't under a lot of tensions, so that's why we're not able to use one. Now that I have the spring and strut assembly all assembled, we're going to go and bolt it back into the car in reverse order. We're going to also do the same thing for the other side of the vehicle. And now we're going to show you how to do the rear springs in your fifth generation Camaro. Now for the rear strut assembly, we've got these four bolts. Two on the front, two on the back side. you got the one main one sitting down here, you got the sway bar back here in the back also, and then you have this 18 millimeter sitting up front here. Now in later 2012, 2013 models, the sway bar end link is going to be on this side of the control arm. Now that we've removed this rear strut assembly, we're going to go and get the spring off. Same thing as the front. These things are not under a lot of pressure, so they can't be taken off just by hand. Once you get the nut and washer out of the way, go ahead and take the whole mount off. have this gasket that you're going to reuse. You're going to go ahead and take this other washer off too, because when you remove the spring, it's going to get in the way. Once you have the rear, rear spring out of the way, go ahead and put the new one back in place.
once you have the spring and what <clears throat> once you have the spring, the mount, the washer, and the nut in place, go ahead and tighten it down. You also want to make sure everything's lined up as you can see here, just kind of like when you took it off. Now once it's tight, you want to go ahead and install everything in reverse order. If you have any other questions, give us a call or go ahead and look at the instructions just so that you know the manufacturer's specifications.